Hi guys, we're doing another fireside chat and we have Maisie and Merle. This is Maisie Marie Schneider and Merle Lynn Schneider. And, and they're, they're our babies. They're just so cute. So we've had them here for 24 hours and... How many poops? Can you count how many poops? Uh, a dozen. <laughs> we had a few accidents. What? It's hard to tell whether they're just standing and pausing or if they're squatting because their little legs are so, okay, their little legs are so like that. Mm, and mommy loves them and daddy loves them and they're so calm. Guess how smart they are. You know how parents say their kids are the smartest, whatever? Yeah, well, of course they always say that. Yeah, but in one day, they've been crate trained. They come to their own names. Merle played fetch. And um, they cry when they need to go potty when they're in to play things. Yeah, and oh my they, gosh, she should feel the eating, energy work of her. As she and they, she knows she's helping. And they're eating daddy's food. Daddy is such a good puppy cook. <laughs> he ate. Uh, we just got to make the carrots a little bit smaller, Daddy. Yeah, we'll make the carrots smaller. Oh my gosh, you should see the energy running. You should feel the energy running through my hand, holding her up to the camera. It's like healing. Incredible. See how sweet they are? They're gorgeous. And they know, they know that mommy loves them and they're so calm. Yes. And they're a really important part of the whole genuine healing community. Yes. I want to sell one thing, personal thing. <laughs> Little Maisie Marie is a little bit of a bully. And it's funny how they get jealous if like Merle gets attention from me, she gets jealous and has to come over. And so, but she kind of beats up on Merle a little bit, but he's fine in his kahunas, aren't you, baby? But that's yeah. Maisie Marie, and this is Merle. And it's so cute. So, so in our subscription um, group, was it just today? It feels like it was a week ago. Uh, it was just yes. this, well... No, today. It was You're this right. morning. It feels like it was a week ago, and she just told us that dream this morning. Yep. So tell us oh. about. Okay. So every time I do something, I intentionally, um, part of, part of what I do is keep everything in the moment, right? So yesterday, Marvin treated. Okay. Yesterday, Marvin. Maybe they don't want to see me. Yesterday, Marvin treated me to a um incredible brunch where he made eggs benedict and pulled salmon big salmon mm -hmm. and um, i made the salad so i made the salad and we worked together and it was just so fun we had our new family for, and anyways so that was really great and we took a picture of it and um that was that but it was like oh, it was such a gift for me and so today in the subscription group, this one of the subscribers had a dream experience with us. Now, at this level of awareness that they're working at in the subscription group, it's not any, it's not dreams anymore. It's actually vivid. Um, so it's like vivid, like really being there. So for her, it toggled between a dream and really being with us. And we get that a lot now, especially with the subscription group. A lot of people get healing and teaching in the dream state. So, so she had a dream that she was in our kitchen and she was making a salad. We were teaching her and others in the subscription group, I guess, how to. Baby, he's gonna go. He's sniffing. He's gonna go. He's gonna blow. You gotta hold him around so he'll he, blow. He won't go potty. Um, he just did, but he was. We're, we're, we're trying to teach these guys not to go potty inside. Yeah, but the, the, the rug in here kind of reminds them of wee-wee pads for some reason. I can see the analogy. So anyway, so she had a dream that we were teaching, we were teaching a cooking class, but it was a spiritual cooking class, and every ingredient meant something. Like the lettuce, every herb, every spice meant something like giving love to the world in a different way. And it was like really profound that she, um, she's jealous. It's really, no, you can hold them. Nope, oh, but we're swapping. She wants we're swapping. swapping, we're swapping. 
It was really profound because um, he had to pay attention. I am paying attention. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> it was really profound because, like, I do this technique technique constantly. Like when us adopting the puppies isn't us just gratuitously having puppies. They symbolize us loving. Well, they picked us. Well, yeah, we knew the Dutch told us. Let us tell them. We would have went to a pound or whatever, but we had to find these ones, the particular souls, to help us. And Meryl's not as comfortable with the limelight as she is, Dave. Oh, that is. We're going to swap again. Well, look at how comfortable she is. She don't mind. All right. Look at this. Look, look at that. Guy. He's a little bit uncomfortable with it. He, he's getting self-conscious about it. He doesn't want to be on camera. Well, I think he likes the limelight. No, Daddy. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's shy. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at Maisie. He doesn't mind because she knows how much Mommy loves to show her off. And she's done this before with Mommy. So anyways, everything that we do has um, spiritual meaning ascribed to it. To like picking an outfit, to, to everything we do. And, and so to pay attention more... To that is is easier to be in the moment. So what one of the subscribers had picked up on um, is um, how to add more of the moment, how to add more of being in the moment to your life, and that's a technique is to ascribe spiritual significance and meaning to everything you do. Like when I watch, I play these stupid video games. My even thinks are so stupid. But they help calm me down because I'm working so hard in the dream state that I actually relax more when I'm playing these stupid video games. And when they blast apart, I actually see it symbolically as blasting around out issues in my cells or blasting out issues in the world. So it's never just gratuitous, just mind numbing. No. No. Daddy's too busy with his. No. There you go. Good enough, Mama. So we're um, probably coming into the midst of our winter. It's a little bit cold, so yeah. every now and then we try and get the fireplace going. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. It's not the best fireplace, but uh, it's but not But it's cozy and it's nice. Well, you know, once you get it going, yes. It takes a while to get going. Anyway. So, um, how do you like being a new daddy? I love it. I'm I didn't think he would... Third time dad. Yeah, he's got two grown sons, but you've never had a daughter. Never had a daughter. And you've never had twins. Never had twins. And the thing is, I thought he would suck as a father. But he said... Hey. I thought he would. Because you were saying, no, I'm not going to do this, and no, and everything. Well, you turned me around. Thank you, babies. And we you should see the way he, he took hours to cook dog food yesterday. Oh, like piles oh my God. of it. And they only eat a little nibble. Uh, they eat tiny amounts of it. And I think they're completely overcooked. So, yeah. Freezer. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the middle of the night, I can say, Daddy. They need to go out, and he pops right out of sleep. I do, and we're right out there. Yep. To get them potty. Mm -hmm. Go potty. And um, we put, we tuck them in together, and it's mommy's job to make sure they're settled and sing them their lullabies. Maisie and Merle are their names. Two little dogs I know, and I know in their hearts. They love their new mommy and daddy so. Yes, I know, I know, I know it's so. So that's her lullaby. Mm -hmm. And they're learning to be grateful. Like, they're so cozy and they're so well behaved and they're the perfect. Oh, they're, they're amazing. Well, you weren't expecting this to be this easy, right? Um, no, no, this is, I'm, I'm quite, I'm very impressed. These, these guys are just, look, they are special. Mm -hmm. I think they are adepts. 
Of course. And I think they're doing the healing work. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to be a really important part of journey of healing. So, and, and all the work that we do to save all of humanity and uplift all of humanity. So, yeah. and, and you want to know the funny part? I'm the strict parent. No. Yes, I am. Because they're in their new, their new um, playpen out. And it's a big size playpen. Yeah. And they're just getting used to it and stuff. And they start crying a little bit. And daddy goes, oh, do they have to stay in there? They don't want to. Do they have to? Oh, oh they, they want to play with mommy. No, they want to play with anybody. They want to. So. <laughs> so but, but daddy's downstairs trying to do some work. Yeah. Yeah, you because. Know, we're all here uplifting all of humanity. Yeah. So, but but we're figuring out how tricks to get the other one to do stuff. Like, um, like when you want daddy to take them outside, all you have to do is say, oh, they want daddy to go with them. Is that the trick? <laughs> well, you Babies, just said I've got your number now. <laughs> Maybe you've always had my number. It's not, I'm not a closed book. You, you've always had my number. All right. So they got their babies and they got their little... Plushies, they have their little plushies too. Oh, and they're chewing. Oh. They love chewing. Yes. So they have their little teddy bears. And he's gonna he's gonna blow. No, he's not. When they when they walk away and they thoughtfully pause and they sniff, they're gonna blow. Alright, well we might have to hang up on this one and get him outside. Yeah. Because we don't want them to get used to blowing. Well, you know, doing potty on the carpet. Yeah. Because our puppies are going to be really well house trained. And we didn't get our nature's miracle yet. No, we're working on that. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you like our babies. We love it when you tune in. Don't you love the people? You got so many aunts and uncles out there. So many people love you. Yes, so many people love you. <laughs> yes, and they're glad you got your brother. And you're so calm and you're such a good girl. And you love your daddy. These are healing puppies. They're absolutely. I can't, it's incredible how, the, I, I can't imagine. Don't what? Don't blow. I'm not gonna, but he might. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, know I can't imagine having a life without pets because they're so grounding. My my energy is so grounded. Do you feel a difference in my energy just with these guys? Oh, for sure. I feel a difference in yours too. Thank you. And it's like they give so much. They give so much. And she she's so good. She'll just sit like this forever. She doesn't care. She's just glad to be with mommy again. Squirrel. Mm, she's got better focus than I do. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay, baby. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for joining us. We're doing all the work. You're doing all the work. So, yep. Yeah, Stay thank tuned. you for Stay doing frosty. the work. We love you and enjoy our babies. Thank you, babes. Thank you. Bye.